Hi, how are you doing? So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this rain effect in Adobe Photoshop. So it's a really simple process and it can look really realistic as well. So I'm going to restart and talk you through the process. So the first thing we want to do before we actually come onto our image is we want to create a document. So come to File, select New, and then select 1080 by 1080 pixels. And press OK. You want to make sure that your background and foreground color are black and white and then come up to filter, render, fibers. So in here you can select randomize just to get a random pattern or you can manually adjust it. So I'm going to push it all the way up to 64 and push this to about 37 around there. Press OK. And then from here we're going to come up to image, adjustment and then levels and we're going to select the black point and we're going to push this all the way up to around there. Press OK. Then from here we want to come up to filter, blur and then motion blur and we want to have an angle of around 90 degrees and we want to push up this distance to around there looks pretty good and press OK. And then from here we're going to go up to image adjustments and levels again and we're going to push this black up and you can see there we start to get a rain effect. So push it to about there where it starts to look like rain, press OK. And then we can blur this a little bit more. So go to filter, blur, back to motion blur, and then just add maybe eight, seven to eight is usually good, press OK. And that's just going to blur it ever so slightly just to give us a more realistic effect. So now what we need to do is make sure that there's no seams on this so we need to get rid of the seam just so we don't get repeat patterns when we're using this so come up to filter other and then select offset and you'll see here the horizontal line won't make any difference to your image but it's this vertical line here you can see there is a line there so we need to get rid of that so just press ok and then zoom in you can use the clone tool you can use the spot healing brush tool whatever you want, just go over that seam so that it's not there. I've used that spot healing brush tool and then I'm just gonna use the clone tool and I'm just going to add some back in to that line that we just got rid of. There we go, that's fine. Now what we need to do is convert the black into transparent. So to do that, come up to window and then go to channels and your channels will appear here. Then you can hold Alt or Option, click, and what will happen is it's load selection there. And now what we're going to do is we're going to come back, back to our layers, come down to the bottom, and create a new solid fill layer, select white, press OK. And then you want to disable the background here, so just click on the little eyeball here. And then we want to come up to Edit, and then Define Pattern. So you want to call this what? I'm going to call this Rain 3, press OK. So then come back over to your main image here and we want to come down to the bottom here and we want to select pattern. So click on that and then a pattern will load. So click on the little arrow drop down here and then you'll see that yours will be at the very bottom there. So I'm going to select the rain free. That's the one we just created. And what we can do here is we can increase the scale just to make that rain bigger. You can move this around as well and you'll see that there's no seam on this because that's what we got rid of a minute ago. So I'm just going to position that, press OK. And then on this layer here, I'm going to press Control Command J just to duplicate that. Double click on that pattern fill and come to the scale. And this time I'm going to make these a little bit bigger. Press OK. And then do the same again, Control Command J just to duplicate that, double click. And then this time I'm going to make the rain a lot smaller, just so we've got little, little droplets there behind it. There we go, press OK. So once you've done that, you can then group these together. So hold down the Shift key from the top, click on the all three of them, just click at the bottom one there, press Control or Command plus G. That will group them layers together. So that is our rain effect there. And then if we come to the background layer, we want to convert this to a smart object. So right click and then select convert to smart object and come up to filter and then come to filter gallery. And then what we want to do within the artistic 
folder at the top here you can see we want to select plastic wrap now what this will do is create almost like a plastic effect now we don't want this to be too strong otherwise it will look fake and it'll look a little bit weird but anywhere between 10 keep the detail at 5 smoothness between 8 and 9 and it's just going to help us create this almost shine in certain places so press ok to that and then what you want to do is come down to the smart filter here click on it if you double click on the actual filter you'll see there's an invert option here so select that that's now inverted that option so come over to our brush tool or you can press b make sure it's selected to white and i want to make sure that the hardness is set to zero too and then i'm going to zoom in by pressing the plus and minus and now i'm just going to paint in some of them areas that i want to select and show that it's got a little bit of water on it now with this particular uh, filter you'll notice that some areas when it's black with this particular image it's not going to look as good so for instance her hair it's not going to match up right but on your pictures it, it may work it really depends on each shot but this is going to work really really well for some of the tattoos here it just looks a little bit wet so i'm going to use that and just select a few areas here so let's come down to the bottom here and maybe select some areas around here there we go that's looking good Maybe a bit more here and down here so if you make a mistake then all you need to do is come back over to your colors here switch it over to the black area uh, the black color rather and then just paint over the area that you want to get rid of so once you're happy that looks pretty good so what we then can do is click on this little box here and this will bring up the blending option for us we can come to the opacity and we can just drop this down so it looks a little bit more realistic so just change that to whatever fits best for your particular image so i think around 50 to 60 percent looks pretty good on this shot so i'm going to say okay to that just get rid of that and just close them channels down and there we go that's how you do it so that's how you get this rain effect now there's lots more things you can do as well to enhance this the other thing that you can do is come down to the bottom and you can add a color lookup so what that will do is basically just give your whole image a really really nice final result so click on the color lookup here and i like to use some of the darker ones like the horror blue for instance that looks quite nice and so does the moonlight that looks pretty cool as well so depending on your image will determine what color you want to use and once you've selected that you can of course come to the opacity just drop that down and just add a little bit of the effect to the image so around 15 14 percent i think looks quite natural so we can just get rid of that and that's how you do it that's how you add rain to an image so we come to the history panel here click on the little camera there's the before there's the after of what we've just done there's the one that i've done before so you can see adding different colors there will get you different results so i hope you've enjoyed that take care and i'll see you in the next video Bye bye